Greetings, Mill Grove neighborhood and extended family. This is W.C. Turner, pastor of Mount Lever Missionary Baptist Church. No doubt you've seen this church on the corner of Denfield and Hebron when you turn at that corner. Uh, we have been here since the 40s when the church was forced to move from Camp Butner. We've seen this neighborhood grow up around us. Originally, it was Mill Grove uh, that consisted of homes and families up and down a Denfield Street. Uh, then came Old Farm, which is slightly to the north of us, and Hillview Terrace down the street. And now there are increasingly new neighborhoods in our area. Swan Mill, Summer Meadows, Independence Park, and Magnolia Point, to name just a few. It is our deep concern for you to know how greatly we desire and enjoy, desire to and enjoy being part of this community. We cherish the opportunities to be involved in your life and to improve the life of everyone around us. Our first mission, our primary work in the world is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. But be assured that this extends to being good neighbors and taking seriously the concern of everyone who lives around us. We welcome you to come and to visit us during the times when we have our services and other activities. That of course includes Sunday morning and presently we have a service at, at 7.55 and 10.45 and during the weekdays we have Bible study on Wednesday nights. We are especially desirous of having the young people come to be among us. We love their energy. We love their enthusiasm and excitement. And we welcome the opportunity to have fellowship, so where we can give instruction and where we can have your participation in the many events of our church. You can go to the website and see some of what we do, but let me tell you just a few of our activities. We bring the young people in on Wednesdays where we give them uh, a small meal, but we give them uh, instruction and involve them in activities that are wholesome in character. Uh, we have dance ministry, we have choirs, uh, and uh, we have wonderful, wonderful people who cherish uh, the children of our communities and the people of God. We also have other ministries specifically tailored uh, to adults uh, and to uh, people in need and in distress. We welcome the opportunity to pray for you and to counsel with you and to be involved in all of the aspects of community life that richen and deepen our sojourn together. Uh, we have a, a haven, and we have uh, a project that uh, extends our work into uh, the neighborhood. Uh, we have um, a 501c3 that enables us to receive grants and gifts, uh, and uh, we have a food plant pantry that enables us to provide food for those around us who are in need, the dedicated and devoted servants here in the church will gladly receive you if you come uh, either to serve with us or to be served by us. We are glad to do it both. We realize that we, uh, we do not live in a planned neighborhood or community. And so, uh, as people come into this area, they will see that no provisions have been made for anything but housing. Uh, no 
provisions have been made for social and cultural life, for uh, recreation, and for the other uh, activities that make a community flourish and grow and thrive. And so we feel it is our responsibility and privilege to find ways to make these uh, these uh, different uh, facilit these different arrangements of life to to make them um, available for your growth and your development. We are deeply concerned uh, about the political and social environment in which we live and uh, cherish those uh, those 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 moments where we are granted uh, access to the city and the county uh, boards and governmental agencies that are charged with working for the betterment of your life. Again, I do not want anybody to pass this church and turn this corner and wonder, am I welcome? I want you to be sure and know that your presence is cherished and deeply desired. May God bless you in everything that you do. Visit us physically or virtually as you have an occasion to do so. Have a good day. What can I do to make mom feel better? So that's kind of what lunch all about. So it just starts today. So I guess that's. I don't have much more except I guess. Okay, Michelle's got to tell us something. Hello. Oh, I have written on board Easter, March the 27th. You <laughs> wrote it. <laughs> oh, she wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it. That's why I asked him. That's why I asked him. Okay. <laughs> we are doing an Easter program like we did a Christmas program. Don't worry about it. It's the gas mask. The mask that they that firefighters put on their head. So he was a very, very smart man. Do you see where it says that? Okay, it says right here. Morgan also invented the gas mask, a breathing mask used by firefighters, and he did it over a thousand, a thousand years ago. I mean, a hundred years ago, not a thousand, a hundred over a hundred years ago. Oh, Miss, and can I ask you a question too? It's upside down, but that's <laughs> 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 oh, Are you laughing because you're on a picture? No! Oh, what funny she did, Melinda. Let me hear you. you she's she's laughing that because I do. she doesn't think anybody ever wants to see a picture, picture of her. He takes a picture. We took a picture of you because you had your pictures on. What was that we did? And you had, wasn't that your Christmas? Um, yeah. You know? What was that you took pictures and you I can't make it. Yeah, I know that. Tubman. Tubman worked as a nurse and cook. They cook and they laundress. Laundress for the laundry for the northern 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 C, right, use those letters right there, civil, C-I-V-I-L. Oh, the last word is spelled when four years just back. Throw it in, it's a, a palindrome. Yes, so that you can get a demographic as to what we had going on. Black Inventors and Inventions. Check it out. I got some um I got something I wanted to read to y'all. I want all that stuff to go around and I really want y'all to take a look at it. I took time to read it. I want y'all to do the same thing, at least the one I just had it on. You want a salad bag? Take cake at the end. Uh-oh, you get one.
Oh, my. So, yellow is our eyes and stuff. It includes rice, peanut butter, dry fruits, beans, noodles. On um, these pasta dinners, we have like oil, shorten, um, a condiments, jelly, and we even have some um, boots. We do have one or two kinds that comes in that needs this. So whenever we at the food bank and we seize it, we pick it up and hold it just for them. Because we do have kind of special needs. Cereal here, it comes in different lots. We carry oatmeal, box cereal, bag cereal, and little individual boxes. Everything we have is on the shelves. You know, the moving people, the company, the young man. <laughs> this is the only important thing we have in this place. You can use all your points on the wall. And see, we got a turnip, we got olive oil, regular oil.